This is Danielle at Westland Gallery, and I'm here with Sharon Barr, the artist of our current exhibition, Dreams of My Garden. Now, as you know, we almost always have an artist talk with our exhibitions, but Sharon is running off to the Bahamas to get some more inspiration for her paintings, so we're doing this video for you instead. Well, thank, first of all, thank you, Westland Gallery and Danielle, for having me here. I'm really, I really feel honored to be in London. The, uh, the focus of organic form started a few years ago, yeah. and I, I really worked on uh, doing figurative work for a long time, and for the past, I would say, 10, 15 years, I've concentrated more on floral and landscapes, and I think it kind of came to me one day when I was walking on a spring day in a, a Kew Gardens, which is a beautiful park right near where I live in Toronto, and I was in, just surrounded by these magnolia bushes. And their blooms were just, you know, at that absolute right perfection. And it was just literally like the tree was speaking to me. And I thought, why am I concentrating on human forms when I feel that this, this incredible uh, structure is a living, breathing organism that deserves as much attention, if not more, People can speak for themselves, but plants are silent watchers of what we do. So that's when I started to do organic forms more. That's great. I like what you say about being surrounded by those bushes and being inspired by that moment because a lot of your work is very large scale and you really get a surrounded feel, an all-encompassing feeling of being part of nature. Well, thank you. And I, I mean, I absolutely am a big fan of large paintings. We live in a small old Toronto home and we have large paintings everywhere. You don't need 11 foot ceilings like the gallery has which are beautiful, but our, our, our home is small and we have very large paintings on the wall. It adds depth to a room and it also makes you feel like you're in a larger room. Alright, now we're standing in front of another of Sharon's really large diptychs which is called A Cure for the Blue. So this one is very different than a lot of the other works we see in the exhibition. Can you tell us a bit about it? I think this was the first in the series that you see in the gallery today. And it just came at a point to me when I was I was kind of stuck in a color scheme and I wanted to move out of it. And so I just forced myself to throw a bunch of magenta on a canvas that was laying on the floor. And I think the thing that really I feel uh, that's very powerful about these two pieces is their spontaneity. Um, a lot of the, the work in the gallery is a little bit more uh, planned out, maybe, but to me, the, the spontaneity in this one is really beautiful, and I, I left it like that because I like people to see the layers, but also that there's, you know, a, a, a element of playfulness in, in all the paintings, especially these two. So, when you're working, do you ever rotate your canvas? Uh, well, I have a couple things to say about that because it leads me to my signature on the work too, but most of these pieces can hang vertically, vertically or horizontally. Some of them even work up, uh, totally upside down. And when I'm working on canvases in my studio, uh, they, they are constantly flipping. So when I do put my signature on one, I just sign an S somewhere in the corner because I know a collector can hang it any direction they please and some people prefer them vertically or horizontally. I want to share one of my favorite experiences uh, with one of your collectors. And the story she told was that she was walking one day, she saw your painting, she knew she had to have it immediately, and she picked it up and took it home, and it has set the stage for the design of her entire home. So, so I've got a kind of interesting story about this painting. It's called Cliffside Height in Newfoundland. And people would look at it and go, where the heck did she get that name? Because when I posted it on Facebook saying I was looking forward to coming to Westland Gallery, there was many, many interesting comments. And one woman, I forget her name, she, she posted that she thought it looked like finger painting. And I thought about that comment for a minute. And I, I thought, hey, wait a minute. That was one of my favorite things to do as a child. 
And I love spontaneity in young children's artwork, and that is what I really hope to achieve myself. So instead of drawing something that looks like a path and a cliff and, and maybe two people hiking on it, this is the mood that I felt when I was in Newfoundland, which was spectacularly beautiful. When people look at my work, I want them to feel, I don't want them to go, oh, that's a that's a bowl of flowers, or that's a, that's a picture of petals falling. I want them to think of a meditative moment that they had, that they felt when they maybe they were walking in the woods, when they were looking at a snowy morning, that really they felt that deep silence.